and have followed thee. Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that has left house, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, in the Gospels. But ye shall receive a hundredfold. Now in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecution. Everybody say, I got a little persecution to go through. And in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. And they were in the way, going up to Jerusalem. And Jesus went before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. He took again the twelve, and he began to tell them what things should happen unto him. Saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles. And they shall mock him, and, and shall scourge him, and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him. In the third day, he shall rise again. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? How many know if you make your petition, God's going to say, well, what do you want? Yeah. I want my truck. I want my house. I want my... Hey, God says, tell me what you want. Verse 37, And they said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit one on the right hand and the other on the left hand in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, You know not what you ask. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Yes, indeed, drink of the cup that I drink. And with the baptism that I am baptized with all, you shall be baptized. But to sit on my right hand or on my left hand, it is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. Come on, turn to your brother and sister and say, Prepare. Prepare. Remember that. There's a nugget in this word this morning. I'm going to come asking you again. Did you come expecting revelation this morning? My God. In verse 41. And when the ten heard it, they began to much displeased with James and John. But when Jesus called them unto him, he said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and that great ones exercise authority upon them. But ye shall, it shall not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your ministers or your servant. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. Even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto him, but to minister and to give his life for a ransom for many. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. And can you by faith go, mm, 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 this is good. Mm -hmm. By faith say, mm, mm, this is good. Mm, this is good. I'm going to ask you again by faith. Did you come to receive a word today? Yes. My God. See, we just don't want to show up for church. We want to have church. Is that right? Amen. We just don't want to tell for church. For, uh, I went to church. Sister Sweetheart asked the lady last week, I think it was Monday, uh, she said, well, what was the service about? And the lady went to the church, she said, I don't remember. You do me a great injustice if you don't remember the word that come forth. First of all, hear me. I never go and say, oh yeah, I know what I'm preaching. I totally rely on the Holy Spirit to show me what we need for this particular week. So you, you're faithful to God, and God will be faithful to you. Is that right? Yeah. My God. Can somebody say, I love you, Jesus? I love you, Jesus. My God, I keep telling you, He loves it when we say we're in love with Him. Can you say, I'm in love with Jesus? I'm in love Hallelujah. with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Amen. Glory. My God, have your way this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know about you, but I know that He's worthy to be praised. He's a good God. 
If I could tell you the testimonies God has blessed us with, hallelujah, my God. Oh, bless the Lord, for He alone is worthy to be praised. He is able to bring to light what is being hid in the dark. I stand here today to tell you all. I know a little bit more than what I'm sharing with you. I know a little bit more about uh, where you're going, Brother Jeremy. God did not release me to tell you. I've seen Brother Brian and Sister Talitha. I've seen the windows of heaven open over you. God said, not yet. Don't tell them just yet. I desire to speak things sometimes too premature. Because sometimes folks can't handle it. They think it's happening today. Yeah, Somebody re better remember how long it took David to become king. Amen. Somebody better remember how long it took Joseph to establish his dream. Yes, I'm just trying to tell some folks, telephone, this is a prophetic word. I know more than what I'm saying, positive and negative. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 84, 11 declares, The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. How many know that's a commandment? That's a promise he cannot go back on. Amen. My brothers and sisters, hear me this morning. If you desire to work for God, God must do a work in you. Amen. If you want your life to get right, you must first desire a righteous life. In order to experience the, the throne zone, you must embrace the dead zone. Amen. You can't come to God alive. You got to die. Amen. You can't be expecting stuff and thinking, how many know when Moses came to the bush, he had to take his shoes off? Some of us want to embrace the burning bush and keep our shoes on. Amen. Hallelujah. In order to experience the throne zone, you must embrace the dead zone. In order for you to grow in God, God must grow in you. Beloved of God, Christianity is not about how good you are on the outside. Christianity is about how clean your heart is on the inside. Children of Zion, choice, not chance, determines our future. There's no chance in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's no chance in God. It's only a choice. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a church service. You're more than welcome to join us. Hallelujah. My God. I've come to tell somebody, anybody, and everybody, stop playing with God and start getting serious in your obedience to God. You can fool me, you can fool your neighbor, but you can't fool God. The Bible says, above all, lie not to yourself. It's time to stop playing with God. If working for God is always convenient, turn to your brother and sister and say, if working with God is always convenient, how can I ever be inconvenient? If God tell you to go here or there, how is that inconvenient to you? Why? Because you say, I don't like this. How many know if you're in the dead zone, you have no wants? Amen. If working for God is always convenient, then how could you ever say, I'm being inconvenient? The Spirit of the Lord declares seven criteria for working for the kingdom of God. Come on, turn to your brother or sister and say, I need seven criteria for working in the kingdom of God. Come on, if you're taking notes, that's the title this morning. Seven criteria. I'm going to give you seven criteria that everybody that said, I want to be a preacher, a minister, evangelist, a prophet, a this or that, you need to have these seven things operating in your life. We have a prophetic word here this morning. I need to hear it again. Say, I'm going to get what I came for. I'm going to get what I came for. Glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. How many ready to experience the throne zone like never before? Amen. Then you got to go through the dead zone. Hallelujah. Amen. If any man cannot deny himself, he is not worthy to be called my disciple. Are you ready for this word this morning? Amen. Seven criteria. Go with me to Mark chapter 10, verse 28. We'll start there. My God. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lord, we have left all. Amen. 